from now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. You can do this. I know it. Very well, Father. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? What, with the conference soon upon us, I, I would have thought that... You are absolutely right. 
I wanted to wait a bit before talking to you, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we shall do once we get back. How to arrange the house, prepare the rooms for the children. Yes, I want three, and the first one will be a boy. We shall call him Louis, like his father. Oh, man, this just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. Right. You can't exactly leave her like this, let alone allow her to be manipulated for the sake of this cursed conference. Mortimer has to help her. Please excuse me, madam. Just remembered. I've got something to do. Come back quickly, my love. Uh, I'll see you later, madam. I must warn Mortimer that she can't go on like this. I'm sure he can help her. So, go and take care of your mission, and come back and see me once you've accomplished it, Louis. Duke Manuel. Doriche. I'm delighted to see you're standing by Lord Mortimer. One cannot say that the situation is altogether reassuring, but I must admit, he does know what he's doing. Something tells me I've made the right choice. So, to thank you for persuading me to join you, what would you say to a nice piece of amber? I am given to understand that you collect it? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it to it, sir. It is the least I can do. Good. See you at the vote. I'll see you later then. Right. Godoy is on board. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis. As you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. All right then, Louis. But be quick. Thank you, Your Eminence. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... You... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but... I feel rather fragile. Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? It was so real. I... I don't understand it. Oh, Lord. Are you going to test me again?
Tell me, your eminence, do you know anything about symbols and dreams? Come, Louis. The scriptural law rejects all divination through dreams. You ought to know that. Of course, I, I wasn't suggesting that these visions were messages from God, your eminence. But it might be that when we rest, our mind imagines situations based on things that left an impression on it. Take your dream, for example. What did it speak of? I'm not sure that I can speak about it. Don't worry, your eminence. There's no one else here but me. Well, I was right here, in my room, and you came to see me. Then it all became confusing. I know that Mr. Von Volner was here too. He... No, no, it's not possible. What was he doing? He tried to harm you. Damn it. He does have memories of what happened. Your Eminence, you have no reason to worry, because I'm right here in front of you, in perfect health. Yes. Yes, you are right. You're probably just a little tired. Overworked, that's all. That's it. Just a bit tired. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the confidence, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. Your Eminence, trust me. I have faith in Lord Mortimer. Let me show you the way... What did you say? That I have faith in Lord Mortimer? No. After. Show you the way? Yes, Louis. You must show me the way. Guide me into the light. Yes. Yes, Your Eminence. Come with me into the light. I... Yes. I must listen to my conscience. Yes. Listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again. Thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now. Why is his study in such a mess? Looks like Volner's planning something. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature, though, and leave as Azif planned le <sighs> It's illegible. Let's see if I can find a solution in Volner's things here. Given his interest in alchemy, I wouldn't be surprised if I found something that revealed what's written somewhere in his room. What a mess. Looks like Volner was interrupted. Looks a lot like straw. And he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. I've seen occult inscriptions like this before. They're not very common. As a matter of fact, I've only seen them once before around the lock of Alazif.
table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. A chest locked with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Chemistry said. That's not surprising coming from von Wolner. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. Think, Louis. I know for sure that lime water neutralizes chemical actions, but doesn't work on ink. I must find something else. Just close. Let's see. My simple toiletry case? Never mind. Chemistry said. That's not surprising coming from von Wolner. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. That sounds vaguely familiar. I can always give it a shot. Mother taught me a thing or two on the subject, and this name reminds me of something. Let's just see how good my memory is. That sounds vaguely familiar. I can always give it a shot. Mother taught me a thing or two on the subject, and this name reminds me of something. Let's just see how good my memory is. Damn! It's diluted the ink. Now it's illegible. <sighs> right. It's not my lucky day.
need to talk to Von Volner. Blast it. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we're waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. They're waiting for Duke Manuel. No doubt to make him change sides. <sighs> All right. If they want him, then they'll get him. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I... And Manuel. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I shan't beat about the bush, my friend. I was very disappointed by your behavior. I had thought you more loyal. Consequently, my affection for you leads me to ask you to reconsider one last time. I've already reconsidered it, Sir Gregory. I shall be loyal to you when it comes to the vote. Have no doubt about it. Excellent news indeed, my friend. Did you hear, Johan? Yes, and it comes at a most timely moment. I anticipate an overwhelming victory. It goes without saying to keep it to yourself. I would like to give William a nice surprise. Whatever you say. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, good boy. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Godoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Damn, traitor is about to drop us. Because Holm doesn't really know what he's doing. He reacts indiscriminately. He is isolated. Don't underestimate his capacities. He's far from being on his own. Just one word from him, and nations will rise up in his support. He no longer has any allies. Look around, for God's sake. Allies? He doesn't care about allies. 
Once back on the continent, he will raise armies willing to die for him. They will all fall to their knees just to serve him. Because you are making a big mistake on one point. He has no end of power. <sighs> right. Not a great start. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? If he knew I was Gregory's son, he wouldn't try it on like this. About you? Next to nothing. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? Uh, ah, now I'm starting to be of interest to you, no? Uh, I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You see, I'm full of surprises. In short, whether he's your father or not makes no real difference to me. <sighs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Johan. Don't make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager that you'd always hoped he would one day, even though he treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is, at best, a mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And what do you think that might be? All of this is just a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? that everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Frederick, the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. How is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look. It all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Now, you're the last one left. Your loyalty toward Gregory is honorable, but no longer makes any sense. If you don't change your mind, you'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who... who will be hostile toward you afterwards. Just think about it rationally a minute. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest.
Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Father, before we start, I have a favor to ask of you. Do you really think this is the right time to ask? Yes. It might give you the impression that I'm forcing you, but... I'm listening. It's about Emma. Help her, please. What do you mean? She's in a bad way, Father. She's your daughter. We need to get her off the island as soon as possible. Her state of health concerns me greatly, and she needs to be cared for. She's losing her mind. Hmm. You are aware that she's Sir Gregory's guest, not mine. I'm not the only one who decides these things. I'm sure you could persuade him. All right. I'll have a word with him. Now, tell me who you've managed to bring over to us. Well, there's no point in wasting any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha! Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you'd succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us, when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against? The transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France. Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duke Manuel? For. Your Eminence? For. But I. Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. von Volner? For. What? But Gregory! Please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. The votes are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What? Done? To me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. <laughs> you... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? I 
think! Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several centuries Help! of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact Father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! Happening. Am I dreaming or...? Louis! It's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I... I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. We take refuge, O oh Mother of God. Dear God, if I lose the war against France, I will be doomed. I, I sense that something is happening, but I could no longer move. History will remember me and the sacrifices I made. I deserve a great destiny, and I will let nothing, nor no one, stand in the way of my dream. But there Sarah? must be a way. Is that you? 
Louis? Louis, can you hear me? I'm here, Louis. Can you see me? Of course, but I don't understand. Oh, merciful heaven. You can see me. Yes, I... Louis, I don't know what's happening, but you must help me. Look, j just calm down. I can't see you, Louis. I'm here right in front of you. No, I can't see you. The Ks are deserted. I can't leave, Louis. Help me. You died. Died? No! What are you talking about? Look, I am right here. We're not on the case. Yes, we are. I haven't moved. I promise you, I wish you were right, but you're not. It, it would seem that we're in what they call the ether. Their world of spirits. I was sure it existed. <laughs> the poor woman is completely losing touch with reality. What you see is not real. I daren't try understand. I... Am I condemned? Look, neither of us know anything about this situation, really. Help me, Louis. You are the first one, the only one to see me, to speak to me. Without you, I'll never get out of here. Don't leave me like this, I beg you. Listen, you have to stay positive. Seeing as I've entered the ether, I, I must be able to leave it. If it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. Do you really think so? Rational and open, remember? Uh, yes, right. You are right. There must be a solution. But how come you can move around? I'm not dead. I don't understand. I think there are many things that you don't understand. It doesn't matter. I trust you. You are going to help me, aren't you? I must be getting on. I, I can't stay much longer. Louis, I beseech you. Promise you're going to help me. Of course I'm going to help you, Mother. Thank you, Louis. I trust you. Thank you. What am I doing here now? N nothing seems real. You're nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amateurs you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes, not a minute to lose. Son to defend me. Yes. But will they make it in time? That's not really Elizabeth. It's another demon who wants to protect home from Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. son to defend me. Yes. But will they make it in time? understand a thing. I'm doomed. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her sister. As for Emily, well, she no longer trusts anyone. Apart from me, that is. I have to stay by her side. Louis, 
We must take Alazif back from him. Like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. My own sister. I should have left her to die when the Tsarina caught her. I really am so stupid. It was obvious Emily? that she would betray Louis? me one day. Louis! Who on earth is... Louis, where are you? I can't see you. In front of you, Emily. She can't see me? Louis, are you dead too? It's complicated. I thought Emma killed you. Oh, yes, that's right. She still doesn't know everything I found out. I feel responsible for what happened to you, Emily. I made a mistake. I've been thinking it over. No one forced her, Louis. She would have ended up doing it in another place another time, but she still would have done it. But I thought, how is it that you are here? Can you move around? I'm going to have to be a bit blunt here, Emily. You'll have to excuse me, but it's quite baffling. Mortimer and Holm or age-old spirits who can change bodies. I... what? They're demons. Louis, are you feeling all right? And I am one too. Louis, you don't seem very well at all. <sighs> because William Mortimer is my father, and he's yours too. Yours and Emma's. <sighs> he's bestowed certain powers on me, like how to read a human mind and even how to control it. Look, I know, it, it's a lot to take in. Are you alright? Yes. Actually, no. How do you expect me to feel? It would be easier if you told me you'd simply lost your mind, or even that I've lost my mind, which would at least make some sense. If only something inside me didn't vibrate at the sound of your words. I'm not making it up, Emily. You've got to believe me. And where are we then? In the ether, I think. Think of it as a psychic dimension. Oh, well, that explains it then. Do you have any more bedtime stories like that? Well, you are dead. Yes, of course I am. I should have known. Ask a stupid question. Yes, I know, Emily. It's, it's hard to believe, but even if it seems insane, I, I assure you that it's all true. We are dead, and we're talking in the ether. Well, not exactly. You see, I'm not dead. What? But if you are here without being dead, then there must be a way out. Help me, Louis. I am begging you, help me. I'll do everything I can to find a solution. You... you promise? Yes, trust me. I must go. Wait, wait, don't leave me. F for pity's sake, Louis. But I must if I'm, I'm to find a solution. Be brave, Emily. Yes, I understand. I trust you. I'll be back for you, I promise. Louis? Don't leave me! Louis! Louis! I must be quick. My memories! I, I'm losing my sense of who I... Louis? Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste! Coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea.
He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference. Do not stop. What a pity you disappointed me. France, so much effort, so much wasted time. from the start. He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children, and Louis is only trying his best to get by. He doesn't realize he's being led to the slaughter. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we use. This memory is important, but it's as if there's something missing. There must be an order to this. I recall Sparta. From the start. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring the Hillsborough sisters here. He knew it! He knew it! He already knew they were his daughters! At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring the Hillsborough sisters This is the first event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. to bring Emily back again to this conference, supposedly to find her sister, whereas Emma hadn't even disappeared yet. The poor wretch was shot as her sister was setting foot on the island. I should have understood that earlier. He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference, supposedly to find her I'm on the right track here. Who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richer, his son. He brings his four children together, and even then I didn't react. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm getting closer to him.
didn't want to believe it. His children are gathered together? Yes? Yeah. Tests do not stop. What a pity you disappointed. France, so much effort, so much wasted time. I recall Sparta. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... No, it's not possible. I couldn't have missed that. Not me. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. And when Elizabeth disappeared... He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children. And Louis is only trying his best to get by. He doesn't realize he's being led to the slaughter. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children. Tea. He knew I would drink it. The rascal knows me better than I do myself. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father and brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. You have managed to follow my thoughts. Come to me, quickly. What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm 
so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... He's coming! He's here! I... Can... Can you see him? He's here! He's coming closer to you! Where? Louis... I don't want to just disappear! He's inside my mind! I can feel him crushing me! He's just in front of you! I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad! He must be stopped! You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with all this so easily. I implore you! I'm sorry, Uncle, but I've decided to follow Father. But how can you trust him? He's my father, and there's so much he has to show me. I'm not responsible for what happened to you. That's your business, the two of you. You are just as mad as he is, Louis. You'll end up just like him. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, uh, I... where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. He was your brother. Why did you kill him? He never meant you any harm. Oh, Louis, I, I am exhausted. Let's talk about this later. No, tell me why now. I want to understand. <sighs> Stubborn as a mule. After centuries of trying to convince him, I assure you I had no other option than to do away with him. He would never have allowed me to depose our father. In the past, he had already opposed me, and sometimes very violently. He seemed to you like a man of peace, because you did not represent any danger to him. But I can assure you, he was not. With anything to do with our father, he would be merciless. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. I did well not to follow home, didn't I? Come on, let's get it over with and join Mortimer in the dining room.
right. Now's the time to join Mortimer. I won't be able to go back after... Here we go. Louis, I was expecting you. Do you feel better? Yes, yes, don't worry, I'll be alright. I wanted to speak with you about what's going to happen next. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, he won't be needing it anymore, and I prefer to put it back in its place. Of course. Here you are, Father. Thank you. Congratulations, by the way. You managed to find the right one among all the copies. I'm impressed. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I won't hide the fact that I was disappointed that you did not succeed in saving Jacques Peru. You handled that situation very badly. As far as the door of my crypt is concerned, it is a pity that you lost your hand while trying to open it. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart, causing the death of the most promising of the two. I remain proud of what you achieved for me by falsifying that letter to the Pope on behalf of Piaggi, because I know that was not an easy task. But the important thing is that you escaped the worst with Volner, because he could have killed you when you were in the guise of Piaget. Yes, it was a bit touch and go. Which leads me to a chat about what I envisage for you now. You are the chosen one, Louis. The one I've been waiting for all this time. Thank you, we I... We are going to be able to become one. Hmm, I, I don't quite follow you. Be proud of yourself, son, for you are the one I have chosen to be my next mortal coil. I... I... but... What about me? Am I imagining things, or did he just tell me to my face that he's going to eat me? Unfortunately, no. You won't survive the transfer. But I want you to know that I only select my bodies from my own children, and that you are the one who has impressed me most. It's far from being my first time, as you can imagine. I didn't think it was possible to find a more promising son than dear Augustus, you can be very proud of yourself. Wait a second, hang on. Do you realize what you're saying? Are you insane? Oh, come, come, my son. Let's not end everything on a bad note, please. Son of a bitch. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I won't let you do it. What on earth are you thinking? That you'll be able to kill me? This is ridiculous, Louis. Come now, be reasonable. Don't fight. <laughs> I won. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, 
George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover, going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volner became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. The Duchess, enabling Great Britain to build closer ties with the United States on both political and commercial fronts, was her last diplomatic feat. She gradually withdrew from the English court and had to retire in the country, supported by her ever-present friend, the author Jane Austen. Some say that the Duchess inspired Austen's novel, Emma, which became a bestseller in 1816. His Eminence, having successfully accomplished his mission, returned to His Holiness the Pope with full honors. Although all his ambitions had become possible, to the stupefaction of his entourage, the Cardinal preferred to retire to his Tuscan monastery, far from all political and diplomatic entanglements. Fascinated by the techniques involved in exorcism and demonology, he dedicated the last years of his life to the study of Inquisition reports. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer, his sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months.